Welcome to day eight of our year through the text of the complete and annotated edition of A Course in Miracles. Our reading for today is Miracle Principles 20 through 23. A running theme in these principles is that miracles are rooted in a timeless order. Miracle Principle 20 says that they rest on eternity, not on time. Principle 21 says that their healing power comes from the awareness that the spirit, not the body, is the truth in each person. And Principle 22 says that miracles are natural expressions of total forgiveness. When you put these together, you can get a picture that when we express love to another person, which is the primary definition of what a miracle is, we are bringing the timelessness of heaven down to earth. There are two other things in today's reading that I wanted to point out. One is that, as you'll see later, the Course uses the term ego, and in the Course, ego is always a negative. But sometimes students will ask if the ego can ever be a positive, like do we need the ego to keep us safe in a dangerous world? And one answer to this question is under Miracle Principle 21, where it says, following the right and voluntary guide will enable you to recognize both physical and spiritual dangers and will provide the means for avoiding each of them in the most efficient way. So what he's saying here is that it's not the ego that will keep you safe from danger, it's the Holy Spirit. So from a course perspective, we never need to learn how to make bargains with our ego. We only need to learn how to be vigilant against it. And finally, pay very special attention to that beautiful passage under Miracle Principle 23 that begins with, you are wholly lovely, a perfect shaft of pure light. This was originally given to Helen personally. It's a soaring praise of true identity. And Jesus called it a special revelation that he was able to give to her because of a kindness that she showed to Bill. It's worth reading the whole passage and imagining that Jesus is saying those words directly to you because it's really stunning. The reflection question for today is when you hear the Course say that miracles are natural expressions of total forgiveness, what does this say to you about the importance of forgiveness as a form of love? You can write or type your answer in our text planner or journal that is your bonus gift for joining our program, A Year Through the Text. And if you are not a member of A Year Through the Text, you can join by visiting community.circleofa.org. Once you're inside the free community site, just look for courses and workshops and you'll see the link to a year through the text from there. See you tomorrow.